Average ground, good day, it's helicopter camera G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo with Foxtrot. Camera G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo, Abyssal Ground. Good day, Uniform Tango Echo is on the ground at PC Helicopters requesting a northwest departure. Uniform Tango Echo with 3607, altimeter 2964, contact tower 119 to small 4, ready for departure. Squawk 6744. 6744 for Uniform Tango Echo. All right, guys, so for those of you that don't know, which I'm sure most of you do already, this is Bill Burr, and uh, definitely a pleasure to be flying with you. And I watched all his YouTube videos because <laughs> I fly the Robinsons, and I was exactly. all concerned about the semi-articulated rotor system. Exactly. And I was like, this guy's uh, selling me on this thing. <laughs> and I didn't even do anything. I just made videos like this for you guys. Yeah, um, but you weren't flying like a salmon going upstream the way I am right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm barely touching this, and it's really... Yeah, you get used to it. For sure. From Tango Echo, clue to zone surveillance service terminated, clue down okay. Yeah, from Tango Echo. As you notice, he has a helmet on. Yeah. He doesn't usually uh, do that with most people. No, no, just uh, just with Bill's in the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Amateur Tower, uh, HR Delta Sir Max, uh, with you for the departure. All right, we're going to switch frequencies here. How's Vancouver looking? Ah, oh, fantastic. So I think it's sunny over there. Doesn't it look sunny to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was hoping you were joking. I was like, I don't know. I've got to get my eyes checked. <laughs> yeah. So let's come off to the left here. Uh, I'm just noticing now. I should have noticed this on the ground, but he didn't get the pin in the door up top. So we'll find a spot to land, and then we'll pop that pin in. Oh, okay. Cool. Little off airport thing? Yeah. That was the show last night. It was awesome. It's one yeah. of those theaters that's just, it's like so beautiful. Yeah. That like when you walk out there, you look up, you see a chandelier, and you're like, am I really going to view all this ignorance in such a beautiful place? <laughs> but uh, uh, but you did it anyways. Yeah. To yeah. be honest with you, my accent like a really weird place where it's like, uh, I feel like the first, the, now was that me who just did that? Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> um. I just feel like the first half is just sort of my usual stuff, but the second half of my act is really feels like where I want to go with it. So, okay. And I feel a completely different energy in the second half of my act, where people are really okay. listening. Where the first half, yeah, I'm annoying, <laughs> like half of the crowd. I feel. <laughs> what do you change in the second half? I just think I'm more pointing the finger at myself a little bit. Okay. Which is what I think the front part of my act needs a little more of. Right. It's just that there's so many things that are going on right now that are just, like, annoying me. Right. Like, I drove by this store yep. today on the way over. Yep. On the 20-minute, one-mile cab ride, because there's so many people now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there was a store, and they had, like, this T-shirt that was talking about equal pay. Yep. And the T-shirt said, like, enough is enough, and equality and all this. And it's just, like... It's like, dude, you're a corporation. <laughs> like, you're, like you, you were the problem. <laughs> you're, you're sitting there preaching to me like I'm somebody's boss. It's like, you're somebody's boss. And, you know, there's probably some little kid that had to sew that shirt together in, like, El Salvador. <laughs> and, like, I feel like so much of what's going on right now is people just grandstanding just so they don't get in trouble. Right, right, right. Um, that they're, all, they're, they're, like, giving me, like, a lecture. It's like, I, I'm yeah. not the one who was underpaying people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a tractor. <laughs> oh, I thought that was some guy in like a... That looked like a horse-drawn cart. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in World War II right now, with like yeah. flying over France, yeah, with all these <laughs> fields. I'm used to flying over L.A. That's true. A little different. Yeah, let's keep the turn going to the right. Now, with the Fenestron, you're going to use the pedals way more than you're used to. So, the interesting thing about the Fenestron, it has more efficiency than a conventional tail rotor, but you need more pedal to get that efficiency. So... What you're going to notice as you raise and lower yeah. the collective, just feed in whatever pedal you need to keep that nose nice and straight. So we're pointing at our spot. We're a little bit nose up right now. We can level that out. Bit of right pedal there to straighten it up a bit. <laughs> you're being very nice. All right. So you take control there. I have controls. Is that me? You're flying. I'm not touching anything now. All right. A little better now, right? Yeah, I... I <laughs> you it was just confused me. Like, that. why is this thing going to the left? And it's like, oh, that's right. The main rotor turns the other way. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I told myself ah, <laughs> that just... Just fly the thing. Don't... 
Yeah. Think about it. Exactly. As ugly as that was, that was fun. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad to hear that. We're going to keep going this way. Let's climb up to about 1,000 feet. So we can see here we're about 240. Bring up to 1,000. You can look there as well, depending on which gauges you like. Everything's here, so this is uh, airspeed and altitude. Or you can look there and there if you want as, as well. So. Yeah, I like analog. Yeah. Everybody does until they get used to the digital. <laughs> this is so amazing. <laughs> Even though it's a cloudy day, this is still incredible. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool that it's a little cloudy. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Yesterday was pretty epic, but... Yeah, right. I know. How long are you here for? I leave, tomorrow, leave tomorrow, tomorrow, and I actually have a I have a show coming up in Boston Boston later on this year where i got to sell a bunch of tickets, so... Okay. They want me to promote the show live 6 a.m. East Coast time. Wow. So i got to get up at 3 in the morning. For an hour, <laughs> I got to be on the radio. Wow. Well, but let's just sell all your tickets right now. Everybody just go buy some tickets for his Boston show. There you go. There we That's go. That's it. I think I just sold Done. out. All sold out. Yeah. See that? And I'm, it's that uh, easy, right? Yeah, and you're flying a helicopter while you do it. I think I can write this off. Yeah, I'd say so, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I don't want to get cocky, but I think I kind of corrected the, uh, I think, the porpoise thing. I think you're figuring out the porpoise. See, I told you you'd get it. Yeah. Tower, good day. Helicopter cover G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo. Um, if you know that guy who owns that property back there, I'd love to send him a couple of DVDs. Because I imagine. Right sure. And Tower, it's the Uniform Tango Echo. We're 1,800 feet right now, just leaving Fort Langley. And uh, we'd like to head westbound through your zone on route to Vancouver Harbor. So I tell you, this is God's country up here. Yeah, it's huh? amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, especially what I'm used to flying over, which looks like uh, scorched earth. Exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. LA sounds beautiful, but it's not quite so beautiful when you're flying around it. Like it has nice parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I still love it. I mean, the people yeah. are great. The food is awesome. Yeah, that's good. I'm not trying to make you not go to Los Angeles. <laughs> <clears throat> so how often are you doing shows? Uh, my year really starts, um, you know, with this gig. Yep. Where, uh, like and here I gotta in Vancouver or out yeah. Boston? Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, the, the Boston one isn't until, like, towards the end of the year. It's just a oh, lot okay. of tickets. That's where I'm from, so okay. they figure I can sell. Yep. Out that way. I hope they're right. <laughs> I've always been of the belief that I'll, I'll, I'll fly, I'll play in a, a, a smaller venue and do more shows. Yep. You know, and then just see what the demand is and we'll just kind of work it from there. Yep. A little more intimate that way, I guess, too, eh? Yeah. So when you get crowd. to the, uh, the suspension bridge here, you're, you're yep. how many kilometers, right? Yeah, kilometers nice out work. from the city. Um, that's a good question. I don't know, like probably 20 or less. It's not a big 20 distance. Or less, so that's it, probably like it takes quite a bit of time. miles, maybe. Yeah, something like that. All right. It takes quite a bit of time to drive it because of all the traffic, but it's very close. Yeah. <laughs> you guys so make you, a lot of buildings up here that look like the ones that Godzilla steps on. <laughs> it's definitely like, like this feels like a European city a little bit to me. Does it really? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean that in a good way. Yeah, yeah. That's the Indian arm off your right, and then this is uh, Deep Cove over here. So this is. A nice place yeah, for people that, to live. That, that. that tugboat pushing that. Yeah. Is that a tugboat pushing the oil Yeah, it's a tugboat. Or? Yeah, for sure. That's how they move them around in the bay here. Pretty awesome. You know, if eh? I wasn't a comedian, I think I'd do that. Yeah, you'd be a tugboat driver? It just seems like another cool job where you could have fun and there's not somebody breathing down your neck. I mean, I'm sure the captain, but once you make him laugh a couple times, I think he'd leave you alone, right? <laughs> once you Pro show him. Probably, I yeah. should pull a little more power here. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, it's an interesting choice from a comedian to a tech boat driver. I just don't want to go to an office. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I also don't want to go out to sea because I'm terrified I. of it. Yeah. But if I could push him up this beautiful river. <laughs> Thank you, Renard Robert Tower. Good day, helicopter. Cowboy G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo, 1100 feet. Just coming up from the second narrows bridge. Thanks to a city tour, so come along the south shoreline at Fable, um, all the way to Stanley Park, and then Point Atkinson, and then come along the north shore, back east up. How old your kid? Uh, she's going to be 14 months. Wow, nice. Yeah, she's all right. Eh? <laughs> yeah, she's all right. Yeah. Although, uh, I don't watch as much hockey as I used to. <laughs> I'm watching more like Vampirina and Puppy Dog Pals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got a four-month-old, so I hear you. Oh, she's, uh, he or she? He. Yeah, yeah Vampirina's a big one with my daughter. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's her jam. That's, that's it, eh? Yeah, she, uh... Vampirina, wow, I haven't even heard of it. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Now I got the song in my head. Yeah. Can you sing it for me or? 
Uh, how's it? Whoa, Vampirina. I may be blue with pointy teeth. Whoa, Vampirina, but I'm not so different underneath. Nice. Hey, Echo, what do you call your helicopter? I can't find it on the internet. Uh, we're Cabri G2. It's made by Gimbal, so the uh, des designator is HGCG2. So if I could just call you a GC2, that'd be okay? Uh, yeah, CG2 is fine, or just a Cabri G2 is good. G2, okay. You ever flown up around Malibu? No, I haven't. Oh, you gotta do that. Yeah. Let me know if you ever come down, uh, okay, down to LA. Yeah, for sure. I'll take you on a ride up that way. Sounds good. Go right by Barbara Streisand's house. <laughs> nice. That'd be fun. Rip around there. This is so cool. Inbound with Delta. <laughs> Air 321 Harbor Towers, cleared straight in, Port 3rd Beach, number one for the eastbound. All right, I know it's a little rainy and cloudy, but this is still awesome. It's I'm up awesome. here in Vancouver. <laughs> uh, got two shows tonight with Paul Verzi at the Queen Elizabeth Theater. Figured I'd, you know, comedian, I'm not doing anything all day. Why not fly around? Exactly. Check it out from the air. Fresh Razor Ray Harp Terror, good morning. Clerk straight in, Port Third Beach, please. Found number two to follow the otter. I love that, the pontoon plane. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Sitting in passage, 1,500 feet, he'll be following you. We checked that for three zero. Wow, that's a whole business down there, huh? Yep. Yeah, it's Uniform Tango Echo. Could I get this sent to 700 for about five five minutes? Uniform Tango Echo, stay over the wire at all times. You're clear towards the second nose bridge over the water at that altitude. Okay, down to 700 over the water for Uniform Tango Echo. All right, guys, it's been awesome flying here with Bill. Um, been a lot of fun. Been interesting. Been an interesting learning experience for you, right? <laughs> As I um, porpoise around here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's uh, he's doing awesome. Um, it's been fun flying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, we'll talk yeah, to you guys again. Thank you again. for flying with me. Absolutely. Thank you for having the courage. I, well, you uh, did wear your helmet. I yeah, I, I, I had to bring the helmet. That's the only way I had enough courage to actually do it. But <laughs> no, it's been fun. I really appreciate it. Talk uh, again next time, guys. Valley traffic, Navajo, KD seven three zero or three miles to the west.